We're back with another review. Today I've got a Lou Skywalker in Stormtrooper Disguise and R2-D2. I've got an old 30th anniversary comic book here. Um, I've got the comic book that's pretty much a reprint of the, um, the original trilogy comic book from the uh, late 70s, early 80s. I'm not sure when this was printed. Take a look at the comic at first. As you notice, uh, here's Han Solo. The Stormtroopers in this old comic, the, uh, the artist wanted to give them a blue tint to their armor. Now, the original Luke and Han, as well as the original Stormtrooper with Grand Moff Tarkin comic packs, they were painted to uh, commemorate this. They actually had blue tinting on their armor, but then uh, the later comic versions just turned it to straight out white. This pretty much follows the movie word per word. If you want the uh, the first part of episode four, it goes up to uh, when, the, when the Falcon escapes the Death Star right here. Uh, let's see, there's also a Darth Vader, Captain Antilles comic book, a Grand Moff Tarkin and a Stormtrooper comic book, as well as Han Solo and Chewie. Uh, these all commemorate, as I said, the first part of Episode 4. Um, we'll start here with R2-D2. R2-D2 is pretty articulate. He's got swivel ankles here, uh, swivel shoulders. He's got a very cool feature. He's got a swivel head that lifts his third leg when you turn it. Um, I hear this is a repack of an older or two unit, maybe from the Saga collection. I'm not sure which one, though. He's also got wheels on his feet. Uh, this R2-D2 is also made to look like the old comic book. That's why it's kind of pasty. I really don't mind that at all, because um, I simply use him as another droid in a lot of dioramas. Even though he's supposed to be R2-D2, compared to the 30th anniversary R2-D2, he looks quite different. Um, I'm giving him an 8 and a half overall. I really like this R2 a lot. Um, we'll go on to Luke. Luke here um, is pretty much based off the 30th anniversary Stormtrooper. There's a couple minor differences, mainly they're cosmetic. Uh, let's get a good look at his gun. He comes with an E11 blaster. Can you see that? And this E11 has some uh, silver markings on it, giving it a rusted look. I actually prefer that over the, uh, the regular blaster. I think it's pretty cool, although I've got a regular blaster in his holster here. One minor difference, this is cosmetic, between him and the 30th anniversary Stormtrooper. If you look at his helmet, it has absolutely no ridges on it. Stormtroopers have those ridges for communication. I've got a 30th Stormtrooper right here. We'll look at his helmet very closely. Can we see that? As you see, do helmet side by side. That's mainly a cosmetic difference. Not a big deal. Luke's helmet is also harder to get on. He's got kind of a big head. His hair is uh, also painted somewhat like the comic book. Go through articulation. Ball jointed head. Ball jointed chest. Swivel shoulders. Bendable elbows. Swivel wrists. Working holster. Unremovable grenade. Um, swivel hips. He can sit very well in vehicles. Uh, he's got uh, bendable knees and swivel ankles. Uh, there's a couple things about this Luke that were uh, used for cost cutting. He's pretty much the same body as the 30th anniversary stormtrooper and also the Han Solo with a Chewy pack but uh I'm going to show you side by side I have a 30th anniversary look here if you want to get the camera down and look at these guys if you remember Princess Leia's famous line um aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper I've always thought about this and actually when stormtrooper armor he's exactly the same size ah get them back to back when are you going to look this way, Adam? Yeah. They mainly do that for cost cutting. It's not that annoying, but it's just kind of funny, I think. Well, anyway, um, Luke gets a 775, despite the fact that he gets <laughs> taller with uh, Stormtrooper armor on. I like this Luke a lot, and I like this R2, because, uh, because this uh, pack kind of commemorates the past. The whole pack is an 8.25. I'm going to show you really quickly here. Um, I couldn't get him, or actually the Grand Moff Tarkin, either, or the Stormtrooper hand, but um, the earlier versions of these comic books come with a uh, slightly blue-tinted armor. Can we see that? If you can see that, uh, they've got a slight blue tint of their armor. It commemorates the old, the old comic book artwork. And, uh, you know, for you younger collectors, you might want to look into that. It kind of gives a piece of Star Wars history there, what artwork was like in the early 80s. And for you older collectors, you might want to get this as well. You can remember those uh, comic books you read as a kid. Now you've got the figures to, to, uh, to match them. 
But um, I've got the white one. They also have a, a white version of, as I said, Han Solo and the Stormtrooper that comes with Grand Moff Tarkin as well as the tinted one. And um, I'm going to move on to the Legacy Collection next. I've got uh, the Legacy Collection Han Solo and Luke Skywalker I'm going to do next. This is pretty much uh, movie accurate, not comic book accurate. But um, stay tuned for that review. As I said, this comic back gets an 8.25, and uh, may the force be with you. Thanks for watching.